mystifying man since the dawn of history. Saturn bears the name of the mythological god of the harvest, who reigned in the Golden Age. Traveling at more than 55,000 miles per hour, Voyager 1 arrived in November of 1980, only 12 miles off course after an interplanetary journey of more than a billion miles. Voyager's instruments found Saturn's atmosphere to be a cold ball of hydrogen and helium gases, racked by huge whirling storms and whipped by winds of up to 1,100 miles per hour. Saturn's magnificent rings, thought to have been the result of collisions between earlier moons and asteroids, consist of thousands of particles, swirling pieces of rock and ice, streaked like the grooves in a phonograph record. Voyager atmospheric scientist, Dr. Andrew Ingersoll. What Voyager discovered was the incredible structure in the rings. Saturn's rings are really composed of countless numbers of particles ranging from the size of dust and perhaps larger particles the size of houses. These particles are constantly bumping into each other. These grooves are there because the rings are constantly being disturbed by satellites orbiting in with the smaller ring particles themselves. As the voyagers swept by, sunlight penetrated backlighting and brilliantly illuminating the splendor of the rings, like the spokes of a gigantic Catherine wheel. Voyager 1 flew within 2,500 miles of the surface of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. One of only three moons in the solar system known to have an atmosphere, Titan may help unlock secrets to the origins of life. Voyager project scientist, Dr. Edward Stone, Certainly one of the more exciting discoveries at Saturn was the atmosphere of Titan. It's an atmosphere which is mainly nitrogen like that here on Earth, but which contains methane so that the photochemistry going on there today may resemble very strongly that which occurred here on Earth billions of years ago before life evolved. JPL project manager Norman Haynes. At this point with Voyager 1 out of the picture and Voyager 2 capable of going the extra distance, NASA gave us the go-ahead for a grand slam, enabling Voyager 2 to explore the last two giants in the solar system, Uranus and Neptune. 